Hi, Gleek.io fans. Today, we'll demonstrate how to design an online shopping system. We'll use an entity relationship diagram and crow's foot notation. Open up the Gleek.io app in your browser. Select Entity Relationship from the drop-down. Let's start by taking our first customer entity. Just type the word customer, hit enter, and then hit the tab key to indent the attributes for the entity. We'll add customer ID, name, and email address. To add data type, just type string or int followed by a space before typing the attribute name. Next up is the customer shopping cart. This time we'll need to add product ID name, quantity, and total. The customer adds products to the shopping cart. This relationship includes the concept of cardinality in that the customer can add one and only one product to the cart at a time, and each cart can be associated with one and only one customer. We'll need products for the customer to select, so we'll add the product and product category entities. The product entity needs to be associated with an order ID and also needs a product number and total. The product category needs a category ID, name, and description. The shopping cart contains products. A product can be associated with one and only one shopping cart, while a shopping cart can have zero or many products. The products can be found in categories and the relationship is one or many in both directions. Now we'll add the last three entities, order, payment, and discount code. Order needs an ID, product, and the total count of that product. Payment needs an ID, an amount, and the method used. Discount code should include its unique ID and the value to be subtracted from the order total. Discount code is the easiest to connect. It applies a discount to the order entity so it has a one or zero relationship in both directions because some unlucky customers won't have any discount codes. Order has a direct relationship with customer. It's a zero-to-many relationship from the customer to the order, as a customer might not have any active orders or could have multiple simultaneous orders. The final relationship is between customer and payment, and it's a very simple one-and-only-one one relationship. Each customer is directly associated with each payment. And that completes our online shopping entity relationship diagram. Entity relationship diagrams are a great way to sketch out your design before starting to code anything. If you like this explanation of designing an online shopping system, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Happy diagramming!